removing the coupler pin and chain. Off with the bonnet. I lift the exhaust up to release the bonnet. Time to fill up the loco. I'm using a 18% castor oil mix for this. No nitro, just methanol and castor oil. I fill it up until it overflows. Removing the coupler assembly. That's the starter shaft. I've got a silicone tube on the end so I can grip it just to turn over the motor. I'm just sucking up some fuel there just to fill up the tube. There it goes. But not to draw any excess into the engine. That's where all my flooding problems were before. Take the tube off the end and put it into the electric drill. Is it on with the glow plug igniter? I just checked the little green lights on on the top there. There we are, the drill with a starter. Couldn't believe it. Oh, it started. First time ever it started without priming. There's a secret as to why that happened. As you'll see in a minute. No need for this. Didn't need that primer in that little dropper bottle. Back on with a coupler. Now to put the bonnet on. it stopped. That's the culprit. A little tissue paper plug I put in there to stop it getting any dust in when the engine's not being used. I forgot to remove it. Must have caused just enough choking to actually start the engine on it. But then when the bonnet went back on, it blocked the inlet completely and the engine choked. Back on with a starter clutch. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it stays on. The engine will start really easily as it's all set to go. There we go. It's jumping windy at the moment. Back on with a coupler again. Sped up a bit here. On with the bonnet for good this time. Clip it in like that. Couple of pin, ready to haul. Just putting the fuel and the starter out of the sunshine. It's hot summer over here in New Zealand. Little run in first gear reverse. Then run past the camera. It's a great speed for shunting. Could be five miles per hour scale speed. Lots of lovely swirling smoke. Park it up on the main line. I'm just dialing down the speed a bit using the speed wheel in the cab. There we go. The sunny side of the loco. 
idling at 5,000 RPM. Thanks for watching.